And Andrew Scheer had one more ask on his wish list for the Prime Minister, one that would make Doug Ford here at Queen's Park very happy. The Conservative leader is asking the Liberal Prime Minister to put his money where his mouth is on the Ontario line. The two election foes met today for the first time since the campaign. The Conservative leader, who won the popular vote and helped reduce Justin Trudeau to a minority government, presented the PM with his list of priorities. It includes a task force for a national energy corridor, tax relief, and it calls for the Liberals to immediately fund regional transit expansion in the GTA, starting with the Ontario line and Young Extension. Interesting, considering Scheer did not do as well as he had hoped in the vote-rich 905 and was locked out of Toronto. Nevertheless, he made sure he mentioned Doug Ford's Ontario line. We certainly support the Ontario and Young Line expansions uh, in Toronto. Doug Ford dubbed the Ontario line the crown jewel in his $28 billion transit plan, which he unveiled in April. During the final days of the election, Trudeau, who consistently bashed Doug Ford on the campaign trail, said he would support the Premier's Ontario line, but didn't commit to a dollar figure. The province says it will cost $10.9 billion, the Young Extension, another $5.6 billion. The province's other two priority transit projects, the Scarborough Subway Extension and the Eglinton Crosstown, are estimated to cost another five and a half and four point seven billion. Just last week, Doug Ford called on Trudeau's government to fund forty percent of those projects, which would be close to eleven billion dollars. So why would Andrew Scheer support Doug Ford's Ontario line when he virtually shunned the premier on the campaign trail? Well, I spoke to somebody from Shear's camp on background today. They tell me that they recognize they need to do better in the region, in this area, in the future. And also, they want to make sure they're holding the Liberals to account.